Melissa. Happy Wednesday. Big stuff happening today. First of all, the it is the last day of February, which means it is the last day, absolute last day, to grab the February bundle. Okay, so I'm going to flip you around. You can kind of see my computer. But what I want to do is show you a couple of things in the bundle today and how to use them to make awesome, awesome mock-ups because we do have two different mock-ups um, included in the bundle. So the bundle has a, I think it has 112 items and it's $19.99, which is like 93% uh, off, but it's the last day. Okay, so keep that in mind while we go through this. All right, I'm gonna move you over. You were watching me on So Let's Go Live, and now I'm on So Fancy. This is how we do it. All right, okay, so here's obviously the bundle. This is going to be a little challenging, but we'll get through. Okay, so what I, um, I'm going to show you is how to use a couple of these designs um, when you get this bundle you obviously get all of this stuff and I'm going to show you how to use some of these designs with this specific mock-up right here so a mock-up is basically a photo that you can use to display something that you are going to sell so you'll see what happens we're gonna let's say we have a um, Etsy shop or a Facebook page that we sell on and we're going to sell a mug and we're going to give our customers a couple of different options um, for what design they want on their mug. Okay, so you purchase the bundle, you get all this great stuff, and then you're going to go over to Silhouette Studio and open Studio and then after you've downloaded your products, I want you to um, do one of two things. First, you can go up to File and then Merge and then find um your item so for me i've already downloaded them there in my downloads folder and first i'm going to pull the mock-up in now what you're going to see is it's going to be gigantic okay and that's just so that you get a really good high quality photo okay so i typically um you know resize it a bit okay all right so we've got the photo there now we can use this photo um and put other designs on top of it to show how we're going to um, what a mug what the mug that we're selling looks like okay or what your design would look like on a mug okay so next thing that you want to do is bring in your design so you can do this one of two ways you can go to your finder and your downloads all right so that's what I'm going to do for this one I like to bring the SVG in but if you don't have um, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, which I'll throw up a link for, you can use, the next one that I would use would be DXF, and you can see that you don't get a preview, but it will come into Studio and you won't have to um, trace to get the cut lines. All right, so let's use the SVG. So we're bringing it in, I simply am dragging and dropping it, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do for all, for a couple of these, just so I can show you a couple of options. All right, so we've got both of them there. For designs that we want to put directly into our library, I'm going to open my Silhouette Studio library, and I have my So Fancy folder here, okay? And then I also open my Finder, and I select only the SVGs. Don't go like this and try to drag it in. You'll get an error. You only want to select the file types that you're trying to import. So I'm going to import just the SVGs. I'm holding down Command on my um, <clears throat> keyboard. Now, I can select them all and, whoa, 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 whoa. This is what happens when I try to work sideways. All right, I'm going to drag them directly into my So Fancy folder. You can see that there's a two there, so it's going to go from 15 to 17, all right? So that's how you would do it if you wanted to bring them into your folder. And where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, here it is, duh. <clears throat> okay, so now that you have it, here they are right here, okay? This one and this one. So once they're in your library, if you wanna open them in the same work area, all right, you're going to right click and click merge, and that puts it in the same work area. Oops, okay? I'm gonna group that together just for right now. Okay, so that's how, let me bring the other one in while we're sitting here. All right, so we have everything in our work area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna make four copies, since I have four designs, I'm gonna make four copies of this image, okay? Okay, so we've got four. Now, 
you want to watch what happens if I try to bring this over here it goes right onto my mug but you can see let me zoom in for you you can see that it's crooked right it's not the mug is sideways but the design is straight so you just want to use that green bar at the top the green ball at the top to turn it a bit and then resize now you can leave your mock-up like this and it'll be perfectly fine I think that when you make mock-ups you should reduce the transparency of the design itself a little bit like down to like 11% or something so that's again that's just an option for you that's my preference I think it makes a little bit looks a little bit more realistic you can do that by opening the fill panel and then just pulling this um, down to down a little bit all right now what I want to show you is how to do these other ones let's say you've got the southern roots okay it came into silhouette studio black all right but we don't want black we want we're going to make our mug our southern roots mug um, with a patterned vinyl or with a pink vinyl or something okay because just because it comes in black obviously you don't have to use black vinyl and you don't even have to use keep your mock-up black so you can go over to the fill tool again and change it all right also I would recommend that you change the line color from up here change it either to transparent or to the same color as the fill now if you want southern roots to be a different color than this um, the rest of this design try you can try to ungroup you can see that ungroup is not an option here so that's because of the way that this design was put together so what you're going to do instead is click release the compound path don't panic okay all you're going to do don't worry the the flowers will come back I actually think that it would be best to move that out of the way what you're going to do is whoops just select the text okay make that a compound path so you have the design selected I know I'm giving you a lot of information here and that's okay you can always go back and re um, watch this right click make compound path now do the same thing for this bold thing all right make a compound path okay now you can change the color of the um, two different elements so if you want to show your customer I'm gonna I'm gonna do a um, I'm gonna do a, that doesn't even really work I would pick black or something okay so just if you want to show them that it's two different colors okay so do that for all of them let's do this quickly so I can kind of show you the whole point to all of this if you bring your design over and it gets hidden behind just right click and say bring to front all right you just want to make sure that it's you know it looks right on your mug all right and then let's this last one here same thing we got to bring it to the front this is just the order now don't leave before I show you the most important part which is how to get this out of studio okay again you could change this one if you weren't going to do these colors now you've made them all quickly in silhouette studio and now what do you do well what you are not going to do is a screen grab okay I would re highly recommend that you get um, business edition if you're doing things like this so that you can export as an S uh, as a JPEG all right so what you should do for things specifically where you've got multiple items in the same work area select the mock-up and the design itself okay go up this is very important save selection if you click save it's going to save everything in the work area if you click save selection it's only going to save what you have selected and then click at save to the hard drive down here change this to JPEG and then go um, coffee mock or whatever you want to call it I'm gonna put it on my desktop so I can find it ha huh, that's a joke my desktop's a mess okay this is going to pop up you can ch keep it to 300 uh, 150 or change it to 300 I usually change to 300 all right looks like nothing happened now what I want to show you is that a lot happened okay 
because what happens is you have now saved this onto your computer as a JPEG. All right, and there's your beautiful mock-up, which you can now go and put on Facebook and say, hey guys, I'm selling this mug um, you, with this design on it, it's 12 bucks or however much you're going to sell it for, okay? I would recommend that you make sure you can actually make this. Um, keep in mind that both this image itself and the design are both commercial use, um, and so you are able to use both to sell, all right? And then you can just continue to do that with these other three, and you've quickly made four product images, and actually you're in better, even better shape because you've gotten them all from the So Fancy Bundle, um, and you can do that for all of them, okay? All right, so that, in a not so little nutshell, is how you're gonna use mock-ups um, to make awesome product photos that you can sell, because let me tell you, important pictures are super, super important for getting that sale because if everybody's selling the same thing you want to stand out and having the lowest price is not always the way all right all right guys let me sh show me your mock-ups let me see what you're doing remember today's the last last day to get that February bundle so hurry up get over there and grab it tomorrow the March bundles out and it's exciting as well all right guys have a good one see ya